Hello everyone, welcome back to ACL Stance. This episode, I'm going to tear down this Alesis active monitor. Uh, this has an issue with a flashing blue light here and uh, the result is that the speaker doesn't work. It just keeps flashing. There's no sound coming through it. I've read on the forums that there's an issue with the uh, capacitor. How close it is to the resistor which is heating up and effectively drying out the capacitor. So going to uh, tear this down, pull out the left one, but uh, what's interesting is the right one is fine, doesn't do it, so I want to pull the right one apart as well and have a look at uh, how that one is assembled. First thing I want to do is take out all these screws here around the edges, um, removed all those screws there on the outside, I've just left all the screws on the inside, that's fine because that's all attached to this plate. Should be able to remove that, if you can't get it off, just grab a little screwdriver and um, sort of stick it in through the underneath there and just lever it out. So let's turn this around and have a look. Looks pretty good inside. The uh, caps look pretty good and uh, the issue here is from what I read was this capacitor here. And its proximity to this resistor So what I'm going to do is going to grab the right hand speaker and I'm going to pull that apart and I'm going to have a look at the difference here and how this is set up. Okay so having a look at these side by side you can see on this right hand assembly resistor 4 and res resistor 3 you can notice the uh, capacitor is sort of comes out on an angle here to the left making uh, all the difference gather it to the left one. The capacitor here is pretty straight. Those two resistors, just move that. That resistor was a little bit closer to this capacitor. What I'm going to do is remove this capacitor, put a new one on. I'm actually going to sort of angle it over this way, just very similar to what this right hand was. So what I'm going to do is remove this assembly, uh, desolder that capacitor, put a new one on. I think I've got a spare capacitor for that one. I'll put it on a slight angle, same as the right one. What I'm going to do is remove this board and first of all I'm going to take out this power connector here and the switch. Ultimately I want to remove this board here from the uh, chassis. This is exactly where those two resistors are together here. So there's an enormous amount of heat that's been generated off those those two here and also uh, at this point on this resistor here as well. I'm just going to take a look at the uh, right hand side one, have a look at that resistor here. It's pretty much the same thing here on this one as well. So, so I'm just going to look at the board here with the magnification glasses on just to see if there's any other noticeable things. Yeah, that seems to be the main issue there. It's, there's excessive heat at this point here and this point here, so... But, uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove that capacitor. Okay, so we've got the capacitor out, say 220 microfarads, a 35 volt. Um, I think I have one of these spare. So, just looking at here, um, there's got the positive pin there, so you have to make sure these go in the right way. Uh, I'm going to install that and then um, test that out, see how we go. Now I don't have any soldering braid on me and I've removed the capacitor but uh, 
one of the problems is the holes are covered up here and uh, you know you can put a the uh, soldering gun on here and heat that up but it, you won't be able to get a hole in there so what I'd like to do is if, uh, if I don't have any soldering braces I'll just get the end of the capacitor that I'm using and I'll put it onto where the hole is here and then I'll use the soldering gun and just heat that up and just push through and that'll make the, the holes. Okay so I'm going to solder in this capacitor here that I've got. Okay so just looking at this capacitor this has some pretty long legs on it here so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to position this capacitor up here a little bit that should give it a lot more distance away from those resistors and I shouldn't have a problem with that anymore. But, um, I will have to make sure that it's got a little bit of play there so I can get that plug back in there for the uh, power switch. I think that should be okay so I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder this back up. Okay, so before I put the uh, main uh, plate screws in here, I'm just going to test this out to see what we get here. Okay, so we want this, this blue light here to be constant. Okay, so let's test this speaker out. Hopefully this will be a constant blue. There we go. Okay. That's interesting. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on this monitor and see how it goes uh, over the next few months. See if you can get ones with the longer legs because um, that is really handy, especially if you want to fit it into the board and uh, actually move it, uh, bend it over. Hopefully this helps somebody out if they have these Alesis. M1 Active Mark IIs.